What's up guys, this is Rick's Light signing in and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Challenges. So we're moving on to round 9 today, continuing with my own decks of course, while we are moving on to Yugi's third deck that I own out of the four. This one resembling the final match between Yugi and a 10. So uh, let's see how this goes for myself. Probably not good. Probably not good at all. Is that right? No, I want user. By slot. There we are. Uh, do this thing to the top. Ah, excuse me. There we are. Oh my god. There should be like three different Yugi pictures. Is there a grandpa picture? Because I could technically use that for the original Yugi deck. <laughs> Considering I am using grandpa's deck. It might be a deck character. I don't know. I really don't know. Oh well. I know like two Yugi's and all that stuff. I know it's like a lot. I've got more cards on the way coming as well. I've got a Sacred Beast structure deck. So that might be added into the game at some point. Depending, I might be able to increase it a little bit. Let's see what I can combine it with. Right. First of all, I want this. <clears throat> this works a little bit differently though, does it? Because so far, I um, if I had the rest of those, I would have been able to pull out one of the God cards. Yes, I, wanna, I do want to try and fight the God cards with the Sacred Beasts to see which one is stronger. I would love to know. Okay, so we're against the Evil Swarm. Alright. Like, how good would a card be if you could, like... Well, there you go, then! <laughs> I was about to say... <laughs> how good would a card be if you could just ignore that completely? Alright. Um, okay, I'm going to put that down anyway, because Marshmallow will be coming out probably... I don't know. That's actually a good card, the Miracle Restoring. But yeah, all we've got is Buster Blade. The Dark Paladin, sorry, so I'll try and bring that bad boy out. Indeed. It's a bit mad. <laughs> Shattered Axe. See, I'm not getting anything from this, so this duel's like... Going out of the window at the moment. I could probably use... Gondora at some point, but it's not working. What are you doing with this? I'm, I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I'm actually not even tired yet. No idea, but I've got some good, good, good stuff coming along the way today. Gotta do Watch Dogs later. Looking forward to that. I really am looking forward to doing one. Okay. I'm going to start doing half an hour videos of Saints Row. Seems like it's taking a little bit too long to do. At times. Ophian. Alright. I, I, I. I don't like how they can fight. Attack. Even though I was like trying to remember, like not remember, but trying to like say that. Ooh. It would be cool if there was a card that could do this and well guess what. By the sounds of it, a fucking card can do it. What do you do? So I'm phase one from the field. You're each stunned by a phase that loses. Okay. <clears throat> I'll try and do it with that one because I might be able to defend myself a little bit better. No, 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 no. Oh, wants to use that. Fine. Guess using this then for protection for the time. There we go. Nice little defender. What are you doing? Can you just bypass that? Attack me directly? Please say you can't. Please? Thank you. It's all good. I can take the 1950. I can take it. I can take what I need to take. Ugh, in my hand, you're cleaning. Ugh. Desperately. Alright. Mm. Again, nothing. Got 3,350, so that's. 1,000, even 900? Yeah, no, I'm not even going to win that. Because say there's more than fucking 3,000 on the field. Bye bye. Sorry. Not today. <sighs> Number 96 next time then. That's for show. Sure. Right? No. No. Okay. <clears throat> Contrary. I'll try you. What time are we kicking out at? Five. Yeah, okay. I usually do record like 20 minutes of these. I was thinking about this earlier, it's like, hang on. 
it's great that I'm using the decks and I'll try and see what I can try and do with them. But I'm always using Cheating Exodia in the videos and it seems to be like Cheating Exodia is doing most of the work. Obviously I only give myself like a 20 minute recording time for you guys with no outro so. Kind of kicks out the middleman a little bit. Makes it faster. Obviously there's still the editing, editing needs to be done. But that ain't the point. Right, Magician of Black Chaos could actually help a lot against Trey. But I don't know what deck he uses. Okay, let's put you down on the field first. Right. You're good. You're good, but I need to wait until I've got Spellbound, or whatever it's called, Swords of Revealing Light first. So I'm going to have to put you down. I mean, if I could use one of these, that'd be great, but no. I feel like these two are going to be used if I get Magician of Black Chaos. Yes, please. Wait, no. I'll wait for the Synchro card to happen. Then I can do it. <laughs> then I can do it. <laughs> I knew what I was thinking in the end. Boo -doo -boo -boo -boo. Yes, please. Thank you. Grab that bitch. Okay, you can still do shit with this. Okay, good. Awesome. Right, not a not a good start so far. However, you go into defense. You get a card. During each of my stun by faces? Or his? Oh, has gone down. Good. Right. Punish all the cards you control and in your hand. Ah, fuck. Alright, well, let's put you down on the field then. I don't know what you can do yet. Oh, wait, I'm banishing everything on the card anyway, so what's the fucking point of doing that? Two, three, four, five. Why, why was that a thing I did? Why did I waste my fucking turn? God's sake. I'm an idiot. I do do stupid things sometimes. And it ain't good. It's not good at all. Was that another Susano? Or whatever you want to call it, burrito? Burrito? <laughs> it's a burrito. Great. That's a lot of damage. That's definitely kill. Definitely kill. Great. Awesome. How fucking fast was that, eh? Because I fucked up on that one. Alright, Vector. Hopefully I can fight a while for you and get Exodia doing some shit. I might start extending my Exodia limit. It's like, lit it at 20 if I don't win any battles. If I win, a ba if I win this battle, then this is probably going to be one of the shortest Yu-Gi-Oh videos I'm going to do. But if it doesn't win, I'm just going to use Exodia. Cheating is only just trying to get through it faster. I don't want to try and get through it faster though, but at the same time I do. It makes no sense. I have a, an idea what I want to do. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But that's not the point. Like, he's so fucking dangly my hair. Like, ugh. So we're using Exectors now today, are we? Okay. Like, it just feels so bouncy and disgusting. Right. Each time your opponent draws a card, place one spell to counter on this card. This card gains 500 attack for each spell counter on it. Okay, so it's on 2,200 so far. That isn't good. Okay, so... Um, I mean... I could probably ban... You, for now. And hope for the best, I guess. I'll put you in defense for now, Green Gadget, my friend. Until I know I can actually take you out with Silent Magician. I need to know. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. <gasps> Not until I can properly protect myself anyway, at least. But you never know. This could be over within seconds. Like, I'm hoping... I mostly get it to 1,500 and that's about it. Like, this isn't a good, bad... good, Not bad card to use now. Seeing as what I can do with it. Okay. So next tactic is try and get rid of this. Why are you using the Seal of Oracalcos? Oh fuck, I didn't know you had that. 
shit. Alright. It's next turn next turn or never. Next turn or never. Didn't work. Shit. I should have waited till he used that, then I could use Monster Reborn, but. My plan didn't work and I failed again, I believe. Wait. Could I potentially win next turn? No, I need to discard a card. He trying to discard Dark Magician unless he destroys it. Which I doubt it. Like, even if I got Magician of Black Chaos in the grave, this could have ended so good. Okay, you can ignore face down card. Great! Hey, that means we've got 10 minutes though of freaking cheating Exodia, and Vector's my first opponent. Which is awesome. Like, it's nice to see. Like, I know it gets repetitive what I'm doing. So I can see why people don't want to watch it at this point in time. But maybe just want to see how fast I can win with Cheating Exodia. I don't know. I'm going to probably stop using him in the next season. Potentially. I don't know. I really don't know. Because if it feels like I'm actually using him for everything to win every duel, I kind of feel like I'm copping it out. So I kind of just want to like n negate what he does or what I do with him. I guess. I don't know. Please excuse the yawning. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. I really don't know. But yeah, I think this is the final season using Teeth the Exodia. Unless I'm like losing a lot. Like I don't, I don't think I use it right away. I think I should only use it when I'm like really badly losing. You know. No, let, let everyone have a try or something like that, or do what I can do, I guess. Because I'm sure all decks are able to win. Right? How did you manage to beat me? Oh, yeah, because you can fucking negate freaking defense cards, apparently. I've, got, I've not even got any of the cards that can help me draw cards at the moment yet. God damn it. Like, Stone of Aztecs is a really good card. Okie dokie, then. Alright. Cool. Awesome. Great. Right. Two more cards I need to try and get. Okay, try and get some defense. I know that's pointless putting that there, but oh well. Get a little booster. The second source of healing light. Okay. Can use that on my next turn. Whenever. Whenever I need to. So it's like sometimes, like, cheating at Yuzuru could win them with, like, a second. Or sometimes it can just end with, like, could take hours. Well, not hours, literally. I think the longest duel I've had so far has been an hour and 20 minutes. I was still trying to deck out. Okay, good. This is a good start. I'll take a risk with Grazel Cherry. I do need the head, though. I don't need the arm. I'm going to take a risk with Grazel Cherry, and hopefully I get a head. So I've got a card to burn already. And of course, any repeats I get. Okay. So I can get rid of the leg. I want to keep the pot so I'll get rid of swords. See what I mean? Quite simple. Again, fuck's sake. Give me the fucking head! Okay, good. Got both legs now. I just need to get a head. Awesome. I can't use pot of duality until next turn. Reckless greed. You can stay on the field for now, my friend. Oh! I'm just called Space Typhoon. Fuck you! I didn't fucking use it in time. God damn it. It's all good. Not too much of a threat. Like, it just seems like every time you play this game, the cards that go... Like, the first card they always seem to have is, like, Mystical Space Typhoon. Like, all the time. Okay, this is where the big boy starts fucking breaking down. I would take Graceful Charity, but I need to risk the head. Head? Head? I need to risk Graceful Charity. I do. I need to see how many I've got in here, though. I need to see which ones I've got rid of. So I need to know. Alright, so far, I've got rid of one leg, one arm. Okay, so what's this? Right leg. So I've got rid of one right arm, one right leg. Okay. So I need to be careful not to get rid of that. Right. Here we go. Head. Good, bad, bad. Oh, fuck. Just got a card in my hand. Uh, you, please. Oh, God. Which one do we get rid of? 
Go to Dark Hole. I need to use Reckless Breed as soon as I fucking can, to be honest. I need to hope for the best. Hope for the best. Please? Head? Fuck! God damn it! Could lose. One. Ah, fuck. One. Eat. Two, three, four, five, six. I've lost. Cheating Exodia, I actually lost Duel. So I got fucked over. And that's the point, like, this game, Yu-Gi-Oh, a lot of the times, is basically just hoping for the best. <laughs> really like with the Gusto cards, but no. Definitely next season. Maybe starting from next week, I'm not going to use Cheating Exodia anymore. Until I go through an entire round of not winning any duels. And then I'll start picking them out with Cheating Exodia. Like an entire, like, full circle around it. Because I know the next ones are, like, pretty big. And then I've got to redo all the Duelist Challenges again. Plus more in the uh, other version, which is obviously a lot harder to get some achievements. Okay, okay, okay. Start off with Souls of Revealing Light so I can pretend myself. Um, Pot of Greed. Pieces, please. Okay, two. Got one piece. Good job. And again, two pieces. Okay, I've got the same card twice. Not fucking good. Um, I'll start gobbling. What can you bring me to the fields? Reckless Greed. Okay, well, let's look at all three of those on the field and hope for the best. It is your turn, Trey. What can you do? What can you do? Alright, good. Oh, you've got the freaking... You've got a lot of work to deal with. Okay, well, that's two Reckless Greeds. It's not that bad. Risk losing a leg. Uh, I don't want to use Dark Hole just yet. Like, I could draw six cards in one go and then just wait two turns. Okay, what are you going to do? Well, whatever you attack, you're going to lose. Well, not really. But still. <laughs> Alright. Well, now you will. This is such a long play. This is a really, really long play. Which is bad, to be honest. This is really bad. Great. Here we go. Big boys are happening. You can't attack yet, though, because I've still got my Swords of Revealing and Light. Unless you can break through that somehow. Which it seems to be a thing that you guys can do a lot of. And it pisses me off. Of course you so good. I can kill it easily. Actually, no, I can't. Oh. Can you get rid of Sip? Thought so. Got some good defense, though, bitches. See? See? Nothing. You're useless. Okay, good. It's the start of something new. I would take the head if there's nothing else to get. I don't need that. Okay, Graceful Terry is probably the better bet. But it's a risk again. Definitely a risk. Okay, come on, Graceful Terry. I know what we're rid of anyway. Dark Hole. Then Swords of Reading Light. And again. Oh, that's just harsh. Oh, that's just really fucking harsh. There are all the five pieces I need right in my fucking hand. Ugh. I got rid of what, 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 what cards on the field. Right, left leg. All right, is there any in the grave? No, I need the, I need the card list. Ah, fuck, get rid of the head. And uh, what's there? Get rid of right arm. I guess. What's in the grave of cards? One arm and a head. Great, okay. Well, this way, Exodia Necros will come into play. Oh, come on! Are you being serious? So I've got a left leg. I don't think I've got a right leg in there yet, so let's throw that on the ground. And swords. Yes, please. Bullshit. There you go. 
Oh no, he gave me the wrong fucking card to begin with. Grand. Oh, come on. How many left legs do you fucking need? I don't need that. I don't need that either. Could have brought back a good card, but still. Right. That's right leg, right arm, and the head. And two left legs. So that's nearly the entire piece on the floor. So that's one, two, three, four. I need the fifth. God's sake. You need to discard a card. I'm going to discard this card. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm going to start losing health life points now. Please attack. Okay, never mind. Three for three. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. But next turn is going to start being bad. That's four. I'm still losing life points here then, aren't I? Of course you would! Of fucking course you would! God's sake. This might be another loss, completely. Wow. This is twice now that Chasing Exodia would have failed me. Shit! Well, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I've lost. Is it? Can't do anything there. Because the fucking game is- Oh, you, you didn't- we didn't give you Exodia last time, so here, have two fucking chances to win. Oh, Graceful Charity is such a risky card. But anyway, that is another failed attempt at Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Challenges for the, for the round nine. We're not moving- we're moving on to my proper decks now, which I've actually created myself. Starting with the Harpies, well, a lot of these cards are going to be repeated before, like something may not change. But when there's like, like six new additions to the card- to the, to the deck, like, only when I introduce six new cards, then yeah, because obviously some of the decks sometimes remove cards and they'll put some more in. It kind of gets mixed around a little bit. So if new, if six new cards get put into the deck in total, then I will use them again, which is how it's gone this time around. Obviously, the only exclusion would be the free Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Gi decks because they're fully completed in real life, and Gustos as well. But either way, that is all there is going to be for today with this video of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist Challenges. And as always, this is Rick's Light, signing out.